There's a lot more finesse to transitions than just specifying a property and a duration. In this video, I'll show you how you can make the transition more lifelike with the timing functions, and even how you can control the period before the animation kicks in. Without any additional specifications, transitions start out slow, speed up, and then slow down a bit before finishing. This is known as an ease transition, taken from the animator's so-called easing functions. And in a graph, it looks like this. You can modify how transitions are applied through the transition timing function property. There are five preset values, starting with the default, ease. Next is linear, which displays the transition at a constant rate. Then there's ease in, which starts slow and speeds up. The opposite of that is ease out, which starts quickly and then slows down. And then there's the combination of the two, ease in out, that starts slow, speeds up, and then slows down again. You may notice that ease and ease in out are similar, but the middle part of the ease transition is notably faster. The transition timing function property has one more possible value, cubic Bezier, which takes as parameters two sets of two numbers, all comma separated, typically between zero and one. These XY coordinates describe the position of the Bezier handles. This flexibility allows you to create custom timing functions like this one that starts out very slow and speeds up at the end. The first pair of numbers, 0 0.950 and 0 0.050, plots the initial Bezier handle, and the second, 0 0.795 and 0 0.035, the ending handle. It's one thing to see the graph of these options, but how do they look in the browser? I've prepared an example page so you can see that for yourself. You'll find it in the exercise files under Chapter 1, subfolder 0102 called timing function examples.htm. So let's run through the paces so you can see how these work. So first let's take a look at ease, the default. I set it up so that it also changes color during the transition. And when I hover out, it comes back. You can see the difference in speed as it progresses across the page. Now let's try linear, very even transition. We'll bring it back. Ease in, we'll start out slow and then speed up. And in reverse, again, slow and speeding up. Ease out, as I said, the opposite of that. So it will start out quickly and then slow down. And then there's ease in out, as I said, the combination of the two that starts slow, speeds up, and slows down again. Now finally, here's a cubic Bezier value using the custom values that I mentioned earlier. This will start out extremely slowly and then zoom across the page. And in reverse. In addition to changing the timing of the transition, you can also add a delay. Now, granted, there are few cases in which you want to hold back on a user interaction, but it's good to know that the option is there should you need it. Here's the code, transition delay value. For both transition delay and transition timing function, you can use S for seconds or MS for milliseconds. I've added a half second delay to the transition timing functions so you can check out the effect for yourself on the file called delayexamples.htm found in the same folder. So now I'll hover over the first one and you'll see how there'll be a brief delay before it takes off. And again, when I hover out, together, the transition timing function and transition delay properties bring a high degree of finesse and customization to your transitions. As always, you'll want to apply these properties judiciously.